Hey guys! I was watching my favorite Christmas movie of all time. I was watching Christmas Vacation, classic Chevy Chase. And the scene that's always stuck out to me is the eggnog. Punch bowl, actually, of eggnog. And specifically the scene where he loses it, freaking out, and he grabs the, the moose cup and he just shoves it into the bowl and takes a big drink and he's like, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. The way that eggnog looked, it just looked delicious. I've always been a huge fan of eggnog and I've never made it from scratch. I've never done a homemade eggnog before, so let's do this, you know? Let's give it a whirl. Okay, you guys, so here's the thing. Full disclosure, this was the very first time I've ever made homemade eggnog, ever, was making this video. So, um, that being said, I think it actually turned out really, really well. Uh, just, I had a few learning curves. Um, I always heard that one-to-one -one ratio is good, so I did six eggs to a half cup of sugar. So half dozen eggs, half cup of sugar. And then this is the whipping cream and nutmeg and pinch of sea salt mixture. Mix that together. Then I started warming up the milk and that whipped cream mixture. I got it up to, I think, around 150 degrees or so. And this is where I think I kind of maybe messed up a little bit. Uh, you have to temper the eggs, right? So I let the milk cool a little bit and then I added spoonful by spoonful to the egg yolk and sugar mixture and I think I would stir faster next time and probably space out the spoonfuls a little bit more because I ended up with quite a bit of clumping which isn't uncommon actually I think most of the time you do have to strain eggnog oh I got it onto the stove there and brought it up to about 160 and then pulled it off and let it cool for a little bit and then I added the vanilla and a half cup of rum I just had white rum in the house I think typically I would add southern comfort would be my choice I just didn't have it but you see there was quite a bit of clumping there um, so I definitely had to strain but once it was all said and done it was awesome I mean it was a little too thick so I thinned it out here with a little bit of milk and a little extra rum, because, you know, why not? And got it to the consistency I wanted, and then it was awesome. I am a huge fan of eggnog this time of year, and this was the best eggnog I've ever had. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Are you serious, Clark?